I'm Rebecca Brand, and this video is all about how to buy produce in case you want to start hunkering down for the coronavirus. I've got a lot of tips. I'm going to be shopping at the biggest store in Santa Barbara, it's Ralph's, <laughs> but first step is the elevator. Gloves are going on. <laughs> Ralph's in Santa Barbara is really big, so this should have a lot of good stuff for me. They have wipes. Clean up on shopping cart. Ooh, wait a second. Oh no. Oh no, I had trouble. I just need one. Let's shop produce together. And this lasts a long time. I'm getting three things of celery. When you buy celery, look at the bottom because you want to get the fattest because the fattest has more of the product per cost because it's a $1.99 per celery. So I want as much as I can get. This guy's kind of thin, not as heavy and big as this one, which appears to be about twice the size. Look at that. So you gotta pick them up and you gotta fill the weight. This was a reject for me. Not buying that one, I'm gonna buy the big ones. And for freshness, put them in butt up. Because if you go like that and you don't use it for a while, this could get air in it. But butt up, this has a lot more staying power and it's gonna last longer if you're just using one of these bags. That's my suggestion. I saved my vegetables for my last shopping trip because I'm only at the ones that's gonna stay longer and a regular grocery store is gonna have much more choices for me. Winter squash is fabulous and look at these prices. That's such a great deal because I don't have to store them in my refrigerator. Hey, I've got the best recipes for butternut squash soup. I'm gonna share them with you. Let's do it. Sold out. Brussels Two, sprouts have, have a really long, long shelf, shelf life. life. But for storage purposes, you want to get the larger ones because if you have to pick off the outside leaves, you've got more inside. If you were to get these little small ones, these go bad faster. So let's find the large ones. Okay, look how big this is compared to a cabbage. This Brussels sprout, I don't know, it's about, I don't know, one sixth the size of a cabbage. I found some really large ones and I filled a whole bag of them full. Cauliflower too has a long shelf life as does cabbage kabocha squash at 99 cents a pound. Hey, during the Thanksgiving holiday, this goes for $1.99 a pound. This is a great buy. I'm so excited because personally, I think this is the very best flavor, even better than butternut squash for soups, all kinds of things. I'm getting some. Fresh ginger is great because you can freeze it and it adds so much flavor. Oh, and there's lemongrass. Wow, that's gonna be so much fun. Let's make an oriental soup together. I'm going to pass on leafy anything. These will go bad very fast. Unless you're going to use it in the first week, forget it. Same with Napa cabbage. Green beans don't last either that long, so forget that. I love these things, little snow, pod, snow peas, but forget that. Sugar snap, no. Okra, no. Let's see. Asparagus. Um, artichokes, yeah, but you know what? I'm not going to give up any refrigerator space for that. I'm kind of looking for what goes the furthest and so no asparagus. I love asparagus but nope. And again the squash. The thin skins on the squash will not make them last long. They will go bitter in about one week. Okay. Same with eggplant. The skins get very bitter. No. You probably already know that about mushrooms. These get a slimy skin quickly. I don't know if you store them in a paper bag but still. Unless you really have something you're gonna make in the next week, I wouldn't get any mushrooms. You may not know this about corn, but I used to grow acres of corn on a ranch I had. And the corn, it starts deteriorating. It gets more starchy and tough from the moment you pick it. We wouldn't pick our corn until the pot was already boiling with water and that is no joke. Forget it. If you're gonna have corn, it's gonna be canned or frozen. And I said just canned, because canned corn you don't have to take and room up in the freezer. And it goes without saying, any of these bags are little tiny pieces and that will deteriorate fast. So as convenient as they are, that's a no. And I'm passing up these aisles too, because this is all about leafy vegetables. Anything that has to be refrigerated is a no. And berries are the worst. I mean, these things probably have mold in them already because that's what happens. And they are so tender, they just take two days and they'll start growing mold. I love this kind of stuff, but if you really want to have blueberries, which I love, get the frozen kind, don't get the fresh. And I have
have been keeping my eye out for a good deal on apples. And in Costco, they were $2 a pound. Well, hey, this is on sale. <laughs> well, really, this is only two pounds. So that's not a sale. We have to be careful. $1.29 a pound was the best price I've seen apples. But for me, I prefer Gala apples, so I'm gonna get a bunch of those. Granny Smith is good for <laughs> baking, which I love. But you know what I say, an apple is an apple all day long. It's still gonna be apple pie or anything else apple. So I'm just gonna go for the Galas because I like the flavor better. The larger apples are more expensive and they are less peeling. Hey, <laughs> but if I'm hanging out for the coronavirus, I'll tell you that, I'm gonna have plenty of time to peel an apple. I'm gonna save my money. See, that gala here, the large ones are $2 a pound. No. Oh, I found a sale for three pounds of gala apples at $3.99, but that's still $1.33 a pound. I'm going back to the $1.29. There we go. We'll stay for months in cold storage, so if you live in a cooler climate and your garage is cool, you're in good shape. You don't even have to spend any, any amount of time in a refrigerator. <laughs> Variety is the spice of life, and I've got a whole lot of potatoes. I'm thinking about the sweet potatoes. And it's $1.49 a pound. I don't know, the M's are $1.99. Huh, maybe I'll go canned. I'm not sure about that. It's the potatoes they bought were like mm, less than a dollar a pound. I think they were 75 cents. I think I did the math for my Costco trip. Pears are great, but they're more perishable than apples. When those things get ripe, you gotta eat them. So I'm gonna pass on the pears. And no way for grapes. That is one week of shelf life. That's a no. Go for raisins. Navel oranges for 99 cents is great. So I'll probably get some of those. That's the best price. Oh, and they have over here tangerines. Oh, tangelos. Oh, those are nice. Okay, that's good. They last a long time. Cold storage. Lemons are great for cooking. That's a good buy. I suggest getting lemons. But I have a lemon tree, so I'm in good shape. When is it ever a good time to buy an unripened tomato? When you're stocking up, hunkering down on the coronavirus. That's when. And Roma tomatoes have the longest shelf life of any tomato. And these are as pink or white as they come. And they're hard as a rock. Oh, I scored. And you gotta have a lot of garlic for all those great recipes we're gonna be cooking. Yay, two for a dollar. I'm gonna get six. So this is what I have in my cart besides those other things of Costco, of the other produce. So I'm Rebecca Brand. Comment and tell me your ideas, uh, what you're going to buy if you're hunkering down and storing stuff for indefinite periods of time, what recipes do you want me to cook. And thank you for watching. Subscribe and really comment to me and share this. If you find this valuable, tell somebody else. I'm just kind of going at this because it's something I'm, it's important to me. And that is important to you. Makes me feel good. So let me know. <laughs> Bye. See you next time. A total of $81 for all that.